I'm just really proud of our guys. Um, first and foremost, um, VCU, Coach Stifler's team. Uh, what a heck of a season, 22-game win streak. Um, those don't come along very often, um, and, and they've got a special group. Um, those guys play hard. They're really, really good offensively. He's, he's, he's doing a, a tremendous job with that program. Um, so my hat's off to them. Um, on our side, um, I'm really proud of our pitching staff. Um, I know we gave up 10 runs, um, but John Beamer started a guy that hasn't thrown since April, um, broke his hand, uh, has come back. Um, elimination game in a regional um, to come out and, and just take the ball and, and give us what he had for, for 45 or 50 pitches, almost 60 pitches. And then Kevin Westlake, um, fifth year senior coming in and, and again, just giving us everything that he had. Um, Ty Cummings finishing it up, our offense, a, a big time team win um, and, uh, and a little bit of momentum. And uh, our guys are excited, um, proud of our team, proud of the fight um, and, and just um, a lot of fun to be around. So really excited to, to put the uniform on again tomorrow. We'll start the questions portion with Chris Clark. Chris, go ahead and jump on in there. Coach, congratulations first and foremost there. Uh, I want to ask you what kind of a mental, uh, not hurdle, but plus boost, whatever you want to call it, you kind of hit on the momentum thing of coming back and getting a team that, that got you guys that set that thing off uh, in, a, in a bad way for you. What was that? Uh, what's that do for the squad? The, our biggest thing is that we just try to master ourselves. You know, I think if, if we master ourselves, our opponent no longer matters. And we talk about that all the time. If we just do what we're capable of doing, we're going to give ourselves a chance to win. And, and we talked to the pitchers briefly today. Uh, hey, it's okay to have nerves. That means that your body's getting ready to do something great. Um, just go out and trust that your stuff's good enough. Um, go out and give us a chance. And, and our offense um, is just doing what, what it's been doing all year and, and, and continually responding and continually not panicking and just doing the things that we're capable of doing. Um, and, and if we do that, it doesn't matter if we're playing Samford, if we're playing VCU, if we're playing Mississippi State. If we can focus on what we're good at, then, then we're going to give ourselves the best chance to win. Doesn't mean doesn't guarantee that we're going to have success. It just guarantees that we're going to give ourselves the best opportunity to win. And if I could follow that up, how much are you really relying on those fifth-year seniors now that you've made it this far to be able to go out and set the tone and, and, and maintain uh, throughout this and uh, have a good game tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, those guys, they just don't care. You know, like they're, they're, they're at the end of their career, collegiate uh, uh, careers. They just don't care, like in a, in a very good way. Like they've, they've gotten to the point where it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that we gave up four in the first. It doesn't matter that, that they took the lead in the middle innings. It do, like, hey, like, just like bring it. Like, who cares? Like, let's go. Um, and, and, and there's a lot of freedom in that. There's a lot of freedom in that, that mentality. There's a lot of freedom when you don't really care what somebody else is going to bring to you because you know, like, I'm going to give you everything I got. It doesn't matter what you bring to the table, like, cause I'm just going to keep fighting until, until somebody tells me or somebody rips it out of my hands that I'm not allowed to fight anymore. And that's what these guys have. That's what they've had the last two months. Um, and, and we're trying to push this day by day, one more day, one more day, one more day. And, uh, you know, I, I like being in their corner, man. It's, it, it, it's a whole heck of a lot of fun. Thank you, coach. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Go to Steve Robertson next. Steve, go ahead. Coach, I don't know if you've looked at your watch, but uh, you got on the ball game to play here in the last 12 hours. And what will the schedule be like for you guys over the course of the, the next 12 hours? <sighs> Uh, that's a great question. Um, I think we got COVID testing at 7 a.m. So, um, you know, for the guys that have to get COVID tested, um, they're going to have to wear that one a little bit. We'll get back. There'll be food at the hotel. Um, we'll get showered up. I'm sure our guys will, will crash out. Um, I've got really good guys on my staff. Jordan Stampler has our, our director of player development has basically put the itinerary together. 68 different times and and has nailed it every time so whenever we get off of this call and i get back on the bus i'll look at my phone he'll have the itinerary up and we just do what he says that we're supposed to do and i'm sure that he'll have us back here at uh if the game's at 11 we probably hit it at 8 45 or something like that and uh 
breakfast with the camels, man. Bring bring your pom poms and 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 let's get ready to rumble. A quick follow up, coach. Pitching plans for tomorrow. Yeah, uh, you have any ideas? I'll t- I'll t- I'll take them, man. If you've got any. If you've got any thoughts, man, it's all hands on deck, man. We may go. Um, I'm sure it'll be Johnny Holstaff, man. I know our guys are going to be fired up and ready to go and, and be competitive. We, we've got um, some guys that will bounce back, some guys that didn't throw a bunch of pitches um, earlier this weekend that, that will come, be able to come back and, and be able to compete. We've got some guys with some good stuff in the bullpen that haven't thrown much or haven't thrown at all. And uh, – we're just going to try to break it down, man, when inning by inning and, and, and hopefully, you know, three innings at a time. If we can win the early innings, middle innings, late innings, um, we're going we're gonna to break big things into small things um, and attack the, the moment that's right in front of us with, with whoever's ready to rock and roll. We'll go to Evan next. Coach, when you watch your offense manufacture runs with hits, hit by pitches, walks, as those innings go deep into the game, how rewarding is it, a coach, to, to see that offense manufacture so many runs down the stretch? It's everything that you know, as an offensive guy, and and trying to um, trying to coach an offense, not just coach hitters, but coach an offense um, to put pressure on a defense and, and 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 have multiple ways to score runs, and and we call that building a hard to kill offense, um, where where you can pressure in a lot of different ways. You can run the bases hit by pitch, drive the ball out of the yard, um, go for extra bases, do a lot of different things where, um, you know, you're, you're, you're not one dimensional and, and to see that and to see our guys continue to embrace that and, and to continue to grow within that system and have freedom within that system. It doesn't get a whole lot better than that. And, and, uh, and it's a really exciting offense to coach. Uh, I hope it's a really exciting offense to watch if, if people like extra base hits and scoring a bunch of runs um, and stealing bases and, and putting pressure on the defense. I would think they would like to watch us play offense. We'll go back to Steve. Well, Coach, now that um, BCU is behind you, let's look ahead to Mississippi State. What are your thoughts about Mississippi State and uh, what do you think about them as ball club? Uh, I think that they're probably really, really good. Um, I, I, you know, obviously they're, you know, the seven or eight overall seed. Um, I have not watched any video on them. Um, we've got a scouting report on them. I'll go back to the hotel and eat and shower and start watching their arms and, and, um, you know, and, and we'll try to put our guys in the best position to be successful. Uh, I'm sure that they are going to be well prepared and, and ready to go in the morning, especially after having the off day today. Um, but again, you know, we're going to respect our opponent. We're going to respect the game. But most importantly, we're going to worry about ourselves and make sure that we're putting ourselves in the best position to do what we're capable of doing. And, and, and hopefully we can do that. Um, the first question I've got is, you know, these guys got after you guys on, on Friday. And you know, what's, it, what's it feel like to kind of get back and get even in, in a game that really probably mattered a little bit more? Uh, yeah. Um, you know, it feels good to be able to punch back. Um, I think all of us were, you know, regardless of who it was, were ready to punch back after yesterday, um, you know. But we did what we had to do in order to get that win, and we're looking forward to tomorrow. Got to get back and rest and be ready to go in the morning. Go to Chris next. Chris, jump on in there. No, I wanted to ask you about that uh, grit that you guys uh, seem to have. Coach talked about bring it, no problems, no worries, whatever you guys got. Where did you guys develop that? Is that the uh, all you uh, fifth year seniors in there making this thing, or what? Or what? Uh, yeah, it's a lot of junior college. Um, you know, just go get her, do, doing whatever we got to do. Um, you know, at Campbell we got some of the best facilities, so. Um, you know, we get a taste of everything. It's cool to come to Mississippi State um, and see what they got and see what we got. Um, but really, it's a mix of the junior college guys and that grit and the young guys with just the raw talent. Um, and I think that the combination of, like Coach Hare talked about a little earlier, of all of us, you know, knowing that we could be at the end of our ropes, um, our careers, and not really caring too much about, you know, what the other team does and just take care of our business. Um, it's really helped all year. Um, and then you watch guys like Zach Neto and Bryce Arnold um, and Connor Denning kind of just, you know, run with, you know, some of the – some of maybe the mentorship that we've given them, but also just their talent and ability to play the game. It's, it's been really fun to watch. And then you got Spencer Packard and Matt Christian and just some of the best guys to be around, you know. So, um, 
that's that's what I got for that. But what uh, yeah, coach said it. You know, we just don't care, but in a good way, which is I think the first time I've ever heard that. How much is it a point of pride to show what kind of baseball you guys play down in Bowie's Creek and let them know uh, where you guys are from? Oh, it's awesome. Um, it's to us, it's nothing different. You know, it's it's on a bigger stage per se. Um, but we've been to a regional championship before, and um, we're just excited to get another opportunity. Um, it's going to be cool to, you know, have fans out there, more fans than probably a lot of us has ever had. Um, but, you know, like I said before, we'll, we'll, we'll be ready to go. We're, we're super jacked up to just have the opportunity. And that's all really we've, we've been wanting the last two, three years, getting into regionals and just getting the opportunity um, to the point where it's, it's three years back to back. So, you know, by now, hopefully know, people know who we are and the type of baseball that we play and, um, you know, just, just ready to keep the ball moving. Last question, Coach talked about all hands on deck. If uh, you know somebody needs to go on the mound, uh, how's that? Uh, how's that wing of yours looking? Just out of curiosity, if they need you. Uh, you know, I, I'm probably one of our last resorts. Um, but but we, you know, we got a lot of guys. <laughs> well, I got 87 maybe in the tank. But um, no, it like Coach said, it's going to be all hands on deck. Um, we got some two way guys if we need to go to them, but. Um, Every, everybody will get put their best foot forward. Um, just shout out to Kevin Westlake, man. I mean, that guy, he gave us every single thing that he had. We had Aaron Run do the same thing last week in, in, in the conference tournament. Um, just those guys, you know, have the biggest hearts and just grinded for us, man. Like you guys saw, obviously, how much they put forward. I mean, just huge shout out to them. I know we do it kind of daily of playing hard and as position players and whatnot, but to be a closer and come in and throw 90 plus pitches and just give everything you had, man, like my respect for him just went crazy. I just wanted to make sure that I said that. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll go to Evan next. Colin, for this program to make it in the finals in 19 and have to wait almost two full years to get back to this point. How rewarding is it to now compete for another regional title? No, it's everything. I mean, that's the reason why we committed to Campbell in the first place is just to be able to have a chance to win, um, you know, a chance to play on the, on college baseball's, you know, arguably the biggest stage. So um, that's, that's the main reason we came. That's the main reason why we chose to come back when we had the opportunity. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not much to say about that. We're just, we're just, we're just jacked up, just to have a chance to, you know, continue playing baseball. We'll go to Steve to wrap it up. A couple questions, uh, Colin. Number one, obviously this game's behind you, and you got one to play here after breakfast. Uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts about Mississippi State as a club? And then the second question is, win or lose tomorrow, what's this experience been like to have a regional uh, and be back and, and be at Dirty Noble Field? Uh, I'm going to go in reverse order. Uh, this experience has been just incredible, man. The fans have been, you know, awesome. Um, we get to experience just plenty of new things, um, being 30 seconds, you know, our hotel being 30 seconds from the field, um, their indoor facilities, their field is obviously gorgeous. Um, it's, it's, it's been an honor. And it was the same thing when we got to go to East Carolina two years ago. Um, just, just really blessed to have those opportunities. Um, and Mississippi State as a club, I think, you know, everybody's at least seen them on TV once or twice, regardless of where you're from. But, um, you know, like they got a good ball club. But at the end of the day, it's baseball. And at the end of the day, we were smoked 19 to four, you know, two nights ago. And we had a chance to punch back um, today and, and handled our business. So, um, you know, baseball can go so many different ways. But regardless, if you respect the game and you give it everything you got, um, there's not really much that you can say win or lose. So that's what we're going to try to do tomorrow.